Um, so, you know, the systems integration is certainly a very important component of what we do. And we focus a lot of our attention on that systems inter integration, which is, you know, the back end that powers these campaigns and allows them to be great experiences for all audience members out there based on the technology that they own. So based on those devices, whether it's a smartphone, whether it's a tablet, whether they are using a laptop or a desktop computer. So, you know, it's, it's a constantly evolving marketplace because of that, because every day there's new technologies coming into place and it's our job to make sure we are aware of what's coming into the market, how operating systems are changing, how we have to account for operating system updates that allow for newer functionality or uh, more robust experiences that we are now able to provide to the target audience out there. Um, so, you know, that's really, that really feeds into Access Image's unique position where, you know, we're not an agency but an extension of the agencies or the brand's team that can execute these technologies on their behalf. You know, we, we and we're able to stay cost effective while doing it by repurposing their, you know, front end, front end creative taking what they're currently working on for a campaign, uh, for a, you know, a new product launch, for a new uh, a brand launch, for a new brand identity, you know, if they're coming up with, with a completely new brand identity, we can help them launch but utilize all the assets that they've been working on, whether it's creative, video, and so on. So it's not only the, the systems integration that's multifaceted, it is the, the actual experience that can and should go in a number of different ways based on how the actual individual participates and based on what their interests are and how far they want to take you know the objective that we provide to them so you know really what it comes down to is you know put, putting puzzle pieces together you know what happens if a consumer does this and what if this is their answer and what if they opt in and say they only want to learn about this specific product or what happens if we you know, bring in social media integration into a mobile experience that allows someone to post a predetermined message on their Facebook wall for all of their friends to see and then their friends come into our experience. You know, so we, ha we have to handle each approach to each individual based on how they access our content in a unique way. We're, we're capturing all of the data with Access Images Analytics, but it's what do we do with that data that is of most importance. So, you know, we, we capture you know, the mobile triggers that are be, being utilized to drive the target audience to the, the back-end experiences. Um, we capture, you know, where the response rates are actually coming from, the, you know, the behavioral trends that are occurring, the location of the target audience, where people are actually participating from. But, you know, when we're ca capturing consumer data for lead generation, you know, that's now bringing the campaign back to the beginning, full circle, once again. And that's what's going to launch your additional campaigns because it's always in a, a constantly evolving process and you know it's not necessarily that a mobile campaign is going to feed into another mobile campaign it could then launch into a traditional marketing campaign based on the learnings that we're actually understanding which then trigger another mobile campaign to occur so you know if let's say you know given that we are here on the high line next to the standard hotel on the beer garden right underneath us you know if we have a billboard that is parallel to the High Line that addresses a seasonal promotion. We allow from from that wallscape people to actually scan a QR code that then or or utilize the billboard as a marker to launch uh, augmented reality engagement. Well, the value on the back end is going to allow that consumer to actually dialogue with us to learn more about what is actually happening with this promotion, and then our objective would be to drive them you know, into the actual beer garden location that's right here. So once we do that, do we find out that, um, you know, this, the promotion went well, but instead of, you know, one beer type, they're actually interested in another lager, which we weren't expecting? If so, how do we apply that to the next time we put up this wallscape? And if we put it up that's, so that it's specific to this lager that was really popular during this campaign period, how much more traffic are we now going to drive in? So it's, it's applying the learnings from every angle, from every multi-channel experience.